Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video you will learn how to create discrete and limit alarms with or without delay and how to assign them to categories or groups. You will also learn how to create a sum alarm as well as how to work with the alarm list. To demonstrate a possible alarming situation, we will create data variables, assign them an alarm configuration with alarm conditions and group them. We will then create a simple display to test our configuration in the visualization and learn about the functions of the alarm list. First, create three data variables which you want to trigger an alarm. For this, we will use one integer and two boolean variables. Under Server, My Server, do a right click on Objects and click on Add Node. Data variable int32 and name the data variable. Repeat this for two boolean data variables. In the project tree, expand the item alarming and after that the item categories. Here you can find the predefined alarm categories. An alarm category is used to define the behavior for acknowledgement and for the graphic design in the alarm list. Open the alarm category warning with a double click. Change the acknowledgement type from acknowledge, active or inactive to acknowledged by inactive. Save the changes by pressing Ctrl S or by clicking on the disk icon. Now do a right click on the first boolean data variable and click on Add Alarm Configuration. Name this configuration and confirm by clicking on OK. Extend the boolean data variable in the project tree. Open the Alarm Configuration window by double clicking on the Alarm Configuration. The standard condition type for boolean data variables is discrete. Click on the plus icon to add a new alarm condition. Choose the comparison operation and type in the value at which an alarm should be triggered. As two active text enter a detailed description of the alarm. Click on the error on the left side of the condition to open the extended settings. The alarm category error is selected automatically. Click on the disk icon to save the alarm configuration. Repeat adding an alarm configuration for the second boolean data variable. When adding the alarm condition, activate delay on by checking the checkbox and setting the value to 5 seconds. Save the configuration. Now we add an alarm configuration for the integer data variable. Enter name for the configuration and click on OK. Double click on the configuration to open the alarm configuration window. The standard condition type for integer data variables is limit. Click on the plus icon to add an alarm condition. Enter a name for the condition. Now choose the comparison operation and the range so that for a value between 50 and 90 an alarm will be triggered. Open the extended settings. Choose Warning as the alarm category. Add a second condition and enter a name. Now choose the comparison operation and the value so that for a value over 90 an alarm will be triggered. Choose Arrow as the alarm category. Save the alarm configuration. In the project tree in the folder Alarming, right-click on Groups 
and click on Add Alarm Group. Enter a name and click on OK. Open the folder Groups by click on the arrow and open the new group by double clicking. Click on the plus icon to add alarm conditions to the group. Click on Server, My Server, Objects on My Server and choose the alarm conditions. By holding the control key while selecting the conditions, you are able to select multiple conditions at once. Once you are finished, click on OK. Open the Sum Alarm tab on the left side and activate the Sum Alarm. Enter a name for the Sum Alarm and its condition. Save the group by clicking on the disk icon. Open the main display on the server My Server displays. Add two button switch elements and one in out value element. Choose the first switch element and set the base parameter to the first Boolean data variable. Set the alarm address to the condition at which the switch element should display an alarm. Choose the second switch element and set the base parameter to the second boolean data variable and the alarm address to the corresponding condition. Finally, select the in-out value element and set the base parameter to the integer data variable. Set the alarm address to the error condition. Save the display. Open the browser. Click on the button Alarm Lock. This will open a window where all active and not acknowledged alarms are listed. Click on the second button. You will now see that the alarm will only be triggered after the selected delay. Click on the first button. Because of the group with all conditions of the boolean data variables, no new alarm is triggered. Only the sum alarm is visible in the alarm list. Enter a value above 50 into the in-out value element. The alarm appears without a delay in the alarm list. Hide the alarm list by click on Alarm Lock. Click on the button with the alarm symbol and then on Alarms. Here you can see all active alarms in the detailed alarm list. Click on the burger icon on the right side of the table to show or hide columns. Show the column input node. In the new column you can see the source node of the alarm. By clicking on the column label you can sort the entries. Click on the error symbol on the left side of the alarm to get a detailed view of the alarm. To show all possible filters click on advanced. To apply filter, set the target value, for example an alarm condition, and then click on Apply Filter. To reset all filters, click on Reset Filter and then on Apply Filter. Now open the main display and open the alarm lock. Stop the boolean alarms by clicking on the buttons. As long as an alarm is active and not acknowledged, it's listed in the alarm list. The corresponding buttons show that there is an unacknowledged alarm by slowly blinking. To acknowledge an alarm, click on the check icon on the right side of the alarm or alarm lock. The alarm is no longer listed in the alarm lock and the buttons show no alarm. Set the value of the in-out value element to a value below 50. 
the alarm is automatically acknowledged because of our settings in the alarm category warning. Now set the value above 90 and then below 50. An alarm of the category error will be triggered, which has to be acknowledged manually. Acknowledge the alarm. Congratulations! You have successfully added discrete and limit alarms, delayed, grouped and assigned them to categories and learned how to use the alarm list. Thank you for watching this advice video tutorial. For more information please subscribe our YouTube channel or visit us on advice.com.